Hey, this is Primo, and I'm coming to you with a quick video uh, to let you know about some problems that are going on in GTA Online. Some players have done an Xbox update, and after the Xbox update, they have had some choppy gameplay. I'm going to give you a footage of what I've experienced and go into it a little bit so that you'll understand kind of what's going on. So as you can see in the video, I mean, the, there's a lot of bad, bad, choppy gameplay. Um, so what we did was I actually, I actually have a open NAT. I have uh, ports that are assigned specifically to the game, and I even did took even more action with my internet provider and some other people to um, to make sure that my connection was good and tested out with other things. And I can assure you that it is only with GTA that my problem is occurring. After that, I got in touch with Xbox. I've gotten in touch with Rockstar. Uh, I sent some emails out, you know, to kind of just touch base and see what was going on. And what they have informed me of is that this, that I am not the only person that's experiencing these choppy gameplay or shutouts, shut-ins, cutouts, and as you can see, I lost connection with everybody that was in the lobby when I did it. Um, so I, I don't really know what they're doing to fix it. I am being told that Xbox knows about it and that whatever happened with the update and whatever happened with GTA um, has caused them a lot of issues. So if you are having a problem, don't think, and, and if you're having a problem and you just did the update, don't think that you're the only person that this is happening to. Don't immediately assume that it's a problem with your connection or with something that happened on your end. Make sure you inform Xbox of the situation and also inform Rockstar and let them know that you're also having a problem on that end um, so that they're aware of it. So that this isn't just something where... And, and that's the problem with problems like this is that there becomes a, a lot of cross-blaming. When Xbox does its update and then GTA does its update, the two are going to basically start arguing with each other about saying, no, that person's at fault on their update or that person's at fault on their update. And they're not, neither side's going to take responsibility. We as the player have to take the necessary action to get everybody on the same page and get them to start working together to fix this problem. Because if it's only happening on Xbox and it's not happening on 360, it's not happening on PS or PS4 and it's not happening on PC the chances are that this could be swept under the table so my suggestion again is to get in touch with the different organizations let them know that you're having a problem and let's get ahead of this before it becomes a more advanced problem and uh, is something that we are sitting here suffering playing and I think I wrote, had in a video before about uh, why Rockstar was going to have problems with GTA or what was going to be the inevitable cost or end to GTA was of all the disconnects and all the problems that are having with these servers and updates and things of that nature so um, so get your, get your stuff out there there's no reason that we have to suffer there's no reason that we have to be tortured to death because two organizations um, can work together and they can get a solution to this. So uh, good luck in your efforts. Uh, we've already started on our end and we hope to hear from you on your end. Uh, if you are having problems, make sure you put a comment in the comments below and let us know what kind of problems you will have and what kind of actions you've taken. And as a community, I'm sure we can pull this together and make it fixed. All right, have, fun, have a great uh, afternoon, guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.